the Long Swamp site is in northwest Georgia, and it's a Mississippian age site. So that means it dates to about 1000 AD. And during that time, Mississippian Native Americans occupied Long Swamp, and they left behind a community where we can see um, a mound and all of their features and their, their housing areas and all the artifacts they left behind. So we're featuring those artifacts. At the same time, we're interpreting the site as sort of a microcosm of uh, larger patterns and behaviors and experiences that we're seeing throughout the greater southeastern region. From making baskets, making ceramics or pottery, making stone tools, to music and dance, ball games, leisure. You can think of it as like a social history of the people of Long Swamp. We're actually using artifacts found at Long Swamp during excavations, archaeological excavations, but then we're also featuring modern equivalents or replicas that are made by tribal members and they're contributing to the content with their art. The unique part of a traveling exhibit is because you're limited in space and because you have to be flexible in space and layout, um, we have built in the digital component, which is our exhibit app. What we've done is incorporated QR codes uh, that you can scan with your uh, mobile device, your phone or your tablet, which will direct you, redirect you to additional content on the web. It kind of helps engage the viewers a little bit more. So uh, we can always add to that exhibit app. We pulled students into all parts of the exhibit processing. So um, exhibit design, um, choosing artifacts to feature, scanning those artifacts with our 3D scanner, um, taking photographs of those artifacts to picture on our panels. Installing the exhibit, you know, they've had experience on how to mount artifacts safely and properly and um, how to display them and how to actually lay out everything and uh, create a final product that visitors will come and experience. My goal is to pique their interest and have them extend this learning experience and take it outside of the exhibit space and go home and look up more on the internet, um, rent or check out a book, um, buy a book about the topic, um, enroll in a class related to archaeology or history or anthropology in general. Um, reach out to archaeologists, the tribes, historians, and ask us any questions that they may have. You know, it's not a dead culture. It's still alive. It's still thriving. These people still have voices, and I hope they're heard through this exhibit.